are joined by Jessan Stanko and Helen Brownrigg. Thanks for joining us, ladies, from Big Brothers Big Sisters. And we're talking about, um, well, we, I want to actually discuss a few things, but let's talk about, first of all, uh, the Bowl for Kids campaign, that fundraiser, happening a little earlier than usual this year. Maybe you can explain, Jessan, when this is happening. Yeah, we're going to be having it. It's just next week. It's um, Our first night is going to be February 15th. Our next night will be February 16th, and then we have our community favorite, um, our PJ Bowl, happening on the Sunday, so February 18th. Okay, so usually in March, but this year in February. Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, was, we always have it in February, but we had it in March last year. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the last year's one then. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we just we heard from the community that they wanted it a little earlier, or they, they liked that date more, so we listen. How important is this fundraiser? Uh, it's a really big one for the organization. So for Big Brothers and Big Sisters, um, it's as a national campaign is both for kids' sake and oftentimes they are the largest annual fundraisers. Um, for us, particularly this year, it's more critical than ever mm -hmm. um, because of some of the changes that we have been going through, um, which I'm sure you're going to discuss mm -hmm. a, little, a little bit here. Um, it's just really important that, you know, we, this event is successful and that, uh, you know, it is, it's good. And it's also nice. Um, we also talked about maybe postponing it, but really we want the community to know that we're here mm -hmm. and that um, we look a little different, but we also look a little the same as well. Yeah, let's talk about that, Helen. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, the organization had a little bit of trouble um, maintaining funding in the past, which is yes. sort of why things are a bit different. Mm -hmm. Had to close the doors and reopen, yes. I guess, as a, a, a revamped organization. A bit of a different um, focus, but a fresh start. So can you talk a little bit about how things are looking now? So really it's given us the opportunity because um, I'm the executive director of Big Brothers and Sisters yeah. of the Okanagan. So the board of directors here reached out to me saying, you know, they were having issues as many of us are as a nonprofit. It's just yes. on daily challenge challenges to stay open. So they reached out to me to see if I would be interested in coming on board here to ensure that we could um, basically reopen right away and um, build a sustainable agency right. and the national office too has been highly supportive of this as we move forward there's a lot of small agencies out there that are struggling on their own so if we mm -hmm. if we combine and make one large agency combined staff uh, we'll be we will be around and we'll be able to enhance the programs that were already the existing ones that, that are here now <laughs> Is there still uh, room for mentoring? And I know that's such a huge mm -hmm. part of Big Brothers Big Sisters. That, that, that is still happening, those programs? Yes, yeah, so we, we had to shut down. Um, but we, we plan on being open again as in the spring. That's why the fundraising is such an important part of mm -hmm. this. As a nonprofit, we rely on the fundraisers, the grants, um, and the donations. So we plan to be back in the spring, and then probably we'll be taking volunteer applications again by the end of the summer so that we can have them going in September. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, Jessen, are you looking for teams of bowlers back mm -hmm. to bowl for kids? Yeah. Uh, what do you, what, what's <clears throat> the call out for this? So currently right now, you know, we're looking for, um, yeah, we're looking for people to join teams, to start teams. Um, teams have a capacity of six people. We ask that um, each member of the team um, pledge a minimum of $40 for adults and 15 for children. Uh, and that, that pledge not only gets you um, into the event, gets mm -hmm. the opportunity to have um, access to the prizes that are happening, as well as um, you get two games of bowling and your shoot rentals. Okay, and yeah. what about sponsorship? I know that's always, yeah. always a big one too. So we are still seeking sponsorships as well. So if there's any businesses or anyone out there that would like to sponsor the event, um, we have lane sponsorships available for $500. Um, we have also a array of other sponsorships available um, that have different uh, kind of give backs to the businesses and the people who are sponsoring the event. So, How many years running is this event? Uh, I believe it's like 40. Isn't it 41? 41st. Yeah, 41st. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 41 years. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much, ladies, for joining us again. Thank you. Bull for thank Kids' you. sake, uh, a huge fundraiser. Please take part if you can. Uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters.ca. More information on that website. We'll be right back. Stay with us with Al Patel coming up next.